Okay. Which means we're looking at core offlane Sand King, which is pretty nice. And nothing too creative for secret. Very conventional lanes. I think it's kind of cool about <clears throat> Vega's draft is that if Naga or Warlock or Sand King get kind of a weird gold boost, they can give your team a big momentum boost. Whereas it's not the same thing between Tidehunter, Ogre, and Shadow Demon. Like if you get a, uh, I guess a, a big influx of gold, and Naga can just be like, okay, I'm at a point where I feel comfortable like building into Radiance, which is, I mean, that happens right now, right? With our position for mm -hmm. Nagas, so it's definitely a thing to oh, yeah. be wary of. Uh, oh, yeah. If you're the the Warlock, obviously you can go into like an earlier Midas. We see a lot of CIS teams do that with the Warlock. They play it a lot greater than like what you've been seeing Cinderin do, getting into an Agnum Scepter at a decent timing, even as position four or five. And then same with the Sinking, he just gets a quick Blink Dagger too. Or he goes blink into something else because of the next amount of gold. Some interesting predictions here. All about the death. Prayer deaths by 10 minutes. Total right. magic or pure damage done to heroes at game end. Tinker, I guess, right? Is that the obvious one? Oh, by 10 minutes. And then by 25 minutes. Oh, wow, this is hard. 25 minutes, jeez. Uh-oh. I might see a first blood attempt here. Sayoma up in the high ground. Nowhere to go. Oh my, secret with the wraparound. They'll find a first blood here. Very nice. You're not getting out that way. Mid one, getting the bonus gold. A great start there. Alright, last question. Player with the most D wards by 15. God. Well, one of the range supports, one would assume. Oh, God. Pilot Eye. Sayoma. Alright, I'll, I'll do Pi. I'll take Pi. I think secret. So, Trent, which draft do you like more? Do you? I really I, don't know. I, I think this one's pretty even. You know, it's execution based. A lot of good team fight. Of course, uh, Ancients will be a factor this game, at least for the Naga. I think. Uh, mm, kind of like Vega's draft. I feel like they can stall out some of the stuff that Secret have. But Vega or Secret have such a good snowball potential. Like if they just get a couple of kills early on, yeah. you have bloodlusted Luna with Shadow Demon Illusions, and you just like take a Rax. So That's even if I'm you're thinking. spamming March and stuff, it could be tough. Like Iceberg already in a lot of trouble. Puppy just whomping him here on the ogre. And look how little that cost Puppy. Yeah, it's just a some mana Man. doesn't care. I'll throw another one. A little mana intensive, but he's got the clarity. He's all good. Oh, Mag misses the stun up top. That's unfortunate. So, interesting lane setup from Secret. It's Luna and Shadow Demon in the off lane. Safe lane tied. And then, for now, kind of this dual lane mid. But at points, it may end up being just a straight-up aggro try if the Ogre rotates up. Not exactly what I was expecting. Ooh, Puppy, maybe looking for a courier snipe. Well, I'm not going to be able to find it here. The only weird part for me would be the uh, the Naga's items. They didn't give her any priority, so she doesn't have that poor man shield that you like almost always see if she's going to be dual or tri laning as a support. Like you tend to pool her really early on, mm -hmm. and the other support just like tanks all the money. But right now she's sitting on nothing but a wind lace. Yeah, it's brutal because she's already kind of tanky with naturally high armor and reasonable HP. So if you get the poor man shield early, she's like super beefy. She can actually zone people as a melee support. Before and you're blow correct. Blow. They, they brought him on up. Radiant deboarding just to make sure none of this is blocked off. No vision in here, so they can just pull. And good control over this lane. Luna, we've seen a ton of teams do this. You just grab her, go into aggressive tri lane. Benefits of Lunar Blessed. Uh, Lunar Blessed. Lunar Blessing makes uh, your supports <laughs> extra scary. Blessed Lunar. The <laughs> Lunar. Wow, oh, Seven going to get that big creep? What a player. It's pretty that nice. That's his level two now on the Naga. I mean, Ogre secured the rune, though, so kind of a worthy trade that he gets a bounty rune instead. Yep. And immediately, level two, Bloodlust picked up by Ogre. Pylai die. I think he's pretty good here. He gets Bloodlusted. FNG gets slowed down. Lucent Beam from the high ground will slow down Mag. And Pi just walks on up. He even pops a Clarity there right in front of the Naga's face. Like, yeah, I know you're not going to hit me. I'm going into fog. Blow me. <laughs> Blow me. Cute, I like it. Tide Hunter, he's getting some decent last hits, but man, he is feeling the pressure. Is he? I think he might die here. No, it's only a level two warlock. Okay, I thought he was three. 
Iceberg's not having a fun time. Oh. He's uh, kind of getting owned. Third, oh. 14 to... Yeah. I mean, considering... Could be worse, matchup. but... He's not getting completely blown out. They're within a couple CS of each other. But there's a pretty big disparity here in HP. He'll get his bottle back. Yeah, that's the biggest difference. It's just like all the harassments coming from mid one. And now look at this immediate bottle refill from Puppy. That's obnoxious. Yeah. Gives him a bloodlust too. Like, all right, go back in the lane. Packing up his lunch. Send him to school. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little iceberg. Just like, well, shit, dude. Like, I'm not on the breakfast program. I ain't got anything. My, my Nog is busy top, she can't help me. My Warlock's down here with my Life Stealer. I'm hung out to dry. No one's stacking my camps. I, I could see some, some Dota 2 roleplay where Ogre is a stay-at-home mom that packs lunches and spends his days mom sweeping. Mom and dad. Yeah, mom and I guess. I don't, I don't know what... I guess... I don't know what... Is, is, are they both males on the Ogre? I think is one so. of them female? I don't know. They'd have to cover one of the boobs. One of them's got a high-pitched voice, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're both just titties, but, you know. <laughs> Warlock? Oh, there we go. Got him. about titties. Sets up another kill for secret. Doing work. Yeah, really nice. Tidehunter now the... halfway through four. Lifestealer is farming very well, though, for Vega. FN's doing just fine in this offlane. I'm a little bit worried about the Berg here, though. If they kill him, like, once... You no, know, maybe twice before the BOTs come out. Like, it's not that bad now, but... I feel like he has to play very timid. He looks he looks scared. He doesn't yeah. have the face of a confident tinker. He's got, like, more experience, just because mid ones been getting support throwing and health and stuff, but... Yeah, but, I mean, look at him, man. He's, he's pretty far back right now. He's... I mean, he's also in a pretty bad advantage. He's on the low ground against the Marana, but... Sioma the Slayer, ready to rotate in. It's level 3 Warlock. Oh, okay. He ain't scared now. Shit. God Mistakes damn. were made. God damn. Glad you know, I caught sometimes that one. you just sleep on Tinker and he <laughs> nukes you one shot because he skills up everything. <laughs> Wrecked. Ooh. You know, I have to say, of the replay casting we've been doing, I think the heroes I'm most hard on in the low pubs people send me are Tinkers. I, something just triggers me about looking at a mid lane and he's like level 5 with like this build or, or you know without march i'm like just just kill him no just kill him god damn it just like why are you not using your spells like you know a lot of other heroes you, you have a little leeway you know with the skill shots but tinker it's like just fucking roll on the keyboard dude isn't that why you picked him why did you <laughs> level up march and then not stack what was the point just you roll know? on the keyboard <laughs> it's true though you're right i mean this in some 1v1 matchups that's kind of what tinker is Especially if you go for like the Aghanims build, it's it's pretty pub friendly. Yeah, I digress. I'm pilot I Dota. Getting some good wards up right now. A little bit of a rotation here from mid one. Not spotted up by any dire side wards, but there's a TP coming up here from Sioma. And it has a life stealer, so maybe they are expecting it. In fact, they must know this. Oh no. This is going to be a well timed gank. Yep. Arrow, not going to connect there. Compliments of the rage. They'll lose their Luna. No detection though, so oh, she'll geez. be okay. Yeah, and a haste rune. Just All a little right, nice quickie. rotation. Yeah, looking at the graph, it's Vega starting to pull into the lead here. Five hundred net worth, nothing too major, but given how that laning stage started, showing a sign of life here, there was a moment where it looked like Secret might just kind of crush some of these lanes. That's Tranquil's and raindrops now for Mag too. Level 5, looking pretty good. So Lifestyle makes the rotation up top. That's what we tend to see around 6-7 minute mark. So he'll just farm up the safe lane. With levels, same thing goes down bottom. Trev also having a very good game though. He has Ravage. He's holding it. We'll see what kind of an opportunity they want to try and make with it. If they want to try and kill the Tinker, I would imagine. Um, the wards are nice to keep an eye on these stacks. That is one thing we didn't talk about. Because Nara can stack all three at once. And I That's think that true. might have happened once already. Because there were like no stacks. And now there are stacks. That's a good point. That's... An often overlooked aspect of the support Naga. It's, it's like not not many supports can do that. You know what I mean? It's like no one like it's like people theory craft about it like on subreddits and shit and forum posts like oh but Naga yeah. should be using the pro scene to stack three camps at once and and the same with Shadow Demon that makes him better. But like no one ever really does it. But FNG got us set. Now here we go again. Here we go. This what is a, it. We're, gonna, we're gonna zoom out. We're gonna get like the macro view here. Oh he's oh he's gonna do it. Yeah he's got this. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this baller. At this. Oh, God, that feels so good. Oh, my God, I'm hard. Oh, the, the middle camp, middle camp. Oh, 
Oh, oh he gets God. it. He gets it. That is oh, hashtag efficiency right that's there. That's so broken. Oh. So this is huge for this Ravage. They need to get a smoke set up like right now mm. for secret and get in there. Pilot Eye has one. I think they're grouping for it right now with the mid one. Oh, Tide's leaving. He's going top. Radiant's Maybe not. Yeah. Oh, that was so satisfying. Was one level, Tinker's got level two march. I like wouldn't even care if we missed three kills to watch that. That would not bother me the slightest. Yeah, that's... And look, Tinker's in there. Two points in the march. No yeah, one's here from the Radiant. Uh, free. Berg's on it, dude. It's over. GG. They so what kind of farm are we looking at here? You had about 1,700 before this started. This will obviously be BOTs and then some. This is also <laughs> a huge for FNG. <laughs> he doesn't have a soul ring yet. <laughs> okay, well that was slightly underwhelming. But FNG getting some really valuable experience there. That's his level 4. Oh, and he missed the stack too. Sad. Well, you, you can't win them all. No. <laughs> I do happens. feel like people could stack more with Shadow Demon, though. That is something that is... And Coddle, yeah. There's, some teams yeah. do make uh, like more of an effort on it, I think. Yeah. I mean, Coddle, though, the, one of the differences is that he can actually farm it. Like You'll see people stack it and then farm it on Coddle, which is okay. You know, I you guess can so power can Shadow Demon, to be fair. Yeah. Oh, that's actually a good point. Yeah, you can kill big stacks. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. You ever just pick Shadow Demon and AFK jungle the whole game until you get Ags blink and then try to win? It's like a challenge, you know? It's kind of fun. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I play to win, you motherfucker. <laughs> MP down bottom, uh, level 8 Luna, working on the HOD it looks like. Power treads up. Farm it away. Ice Middle of the pack. Yeah. Oh, did he finish off those stacks now? Oh, Got yeah. Bots. 600 some gold. No contest from secret. You can see it too. Like. Oh yeah. He's number two on net worth now, like comfortably. Uh, overall though, it's actually secret who are getting the edge though in the graph. Wow, just barely. I guess that's a lot because it's tied though. Frav's been doing a lot of work around the map. Yeah, the difference in offlaners. Mag, he's got level seven. He's found a lot of experience. He does have his tranquil boots up. But Frev has arcanes, and he's already like more than halfway to mech. 900 gold and headdress. I assume Tide's been working the ancients. Well, they've got a triple ancient stack at least. So if he's not been killing it, he's at the very least been stacking it. Dropping down sentries just in case. Secret. Realizing how precious their ancients are. Gotta help Frev, man. There's our soul ring for a tinker. Much happier now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you always buy BOTs before soul ring? Is that totally standard? Uh, I think as long as you have your bottle, yeah. I think it's fine. Okay. But I'm also not a tinker player. So. I mean, I, obviously it's fine. Like, if you, getting fast BOTs is great. I'm just curious <laughs> if, like, is that what everybody does? Like, I feel like I see some tinkers go brown boots, bottle, soul ring, and then into the BOTs. So you... Uh, oh, hey, hey buddy. it is. It's going very well. We're casting Vega versus Secret. We're the serious stream. How are you doing? Well, you know. Okay, bud. As what's, serious what's, what's as up? it gets at noon. Are you in your lobby or are you still picnicking? Uh-oh. What's, uh what's wrong, buddy? Do you have, um, like, captain's mode set on? Uh-oh. Or, like, do you have one of those things? Like, do you have any of the... Yes, yes, change it to captain's mode. Refresh it. Make sure you don't have like regions and stuff turned on. Okay. All right, you demand. There you go, bud. You demand. Keep it going. Keep it up. Attack. Bye bye. That was nice. That was a a drive by slaxing. Classic. He's still lurking though. It's creeping me yeah, out. There, oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> I want to hear what they're now saying we can talk about, about him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Two to you know, this game though, even though it's two to two, maybe it's because we just made a fresh pot of coffee. But like watching that Naga stack, that is 
that's the kind of stuff that makes these two to two games actually interesting and worth talking about, you know? Yeah. Sometimes I feel like the slow games are like, it's just slow for the sake of being slow, but it, it's awesome when you see teams having a slow kill game, but finding other really intense efficiencies like that. Like it just, it scratches that itch I just can't scratch. It's uh, it's from watching all the gifts of people doing that kind of shit, or like all your theory crafting, jungling stuff, and you actually get to see it happen in the game, you're just like, yes, this is so good. And look at this lifestealer build, he's going... Straight Desolator. Oh, no, he's got the armlet. Okay, my bad. He skipped the Echo Saber. That's the variation. But yeah, armlet that's... Deso, raw damage. A little I... different. I think some people would argue that the Echo Saber is just, like, so value that it's worth picking up to delay the Deso, but there is something to be said for that early minus armor. Especially if you want to try, Roche. I don't think it really applies to this lineup, though. Yeah. The Echo Saber is so nice for that slow. That's like a lot of people forget about that. I feel like it's like you know how Silver Edge, no one ever talks about the damage reduction. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's the same thing with the uh... oh Echo Saber with the uh, the slow that comes out. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Nice Stun on the Rev. He does have a Ravage here. They the really don't nearby, have a. They dust. Yeah. That's it. Both sides kind of back on off. That. Like, if you're gonna Ravage, uh, I mean it's good that he didn't Ravage. Like if he Ravages there or something like that, then. There's no way they kill Naga in time before she can just get Song off, and then you've like wasted Ravage, and then they can decide as yeah. Vega to like be like, hmm, do we want to fight them right now, or do we just want to run away? And there's nothing you can do, so you can play by yeah, Vega, not true. panicking. I mean, there's one little, it's a small mechanic, but Luna versus Naga can sometimes be advantageous in those panic moments as Eclipse stays on while you're asleep. Oh, so, that's a classic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So if you're like, just you like know, one hit death down. Naga and you hit the ult and you get it off, you can still potentially die. Just kind of neat. It's not huge, but you never know. Those little things come into play. Ancient stack here for MP. Luna. Look at the gap closed here. Luna was like middle of the pack, not that far, or fairly far, far behind the others. And with this ancient stack, she's going to be right up there with the Tinker. Yeah, Tinker's getting efficiency on the Dire side, but you look at the Radiant, like, Poppy's been down here farming for a while, they just did that Ancient Sack with Luna and Tide, Tide then just goes up here and farms this, everyone's just farming creeps. Yeah. They're rich, man. Dire supports her at the very bottom, including Naga, so no hopes for that little turnaround that we've seen a couple teams do, Poppy especially, himself, on the Naga. And, uh, nice little trio of Marana, Luna, Tide, well farmed, 1600 ahead, that's yeah. sinking. This is a good peak for Vega, though. Blink on Iceberg, Blink on Meg. Maybe they'll smoke up, look to get something done with a Warlock ulti, perhaps. Oh, man. Slow and steady. Ogre now level 7, again with this 1-1-4 uh, build. This really is becoming the new norm. It's the build. Maxed out Bloodlust, baby. Good stuff. It's too good, honestly. It's yeah, just, it's, it's really so incredible. good. It does so much for you all the time. And think about how much more you'll use that than something like Ignite if you were maxing yeah. that. For 50 mana, like, I mean, puppy's gonna die here, but help there, but. Yeah, but for 50 mana, like, raindrops are enough to give you, like, enough man mana to spend that thing out. 60% movement speed also is, I mean, just the efficiency for putting that on, like, a carry like Luna is, is pretty amazing. He's already cruising. So tier one tower up top goes down in favor of secret down in the bottom lane. Vega, they'll finish off this tower. Glyph delays things a little bit, but one for one. Secret yeah, looking for a potential fight here. They've got Moonlight Shadow. About two thirds of the way to the Agonims here on uh, the Marana. Things again, just kind of chill. Seekers around the map. Radiant's probably feeling very happy about this. I think Secret are like, yeah, we're like pressuring, we're getting agonims. Life's good. Uh, I'm just, I'm cracking up at Slacks. Anytime he has to type in the password, he hides Dota from the screen because he can't type it in with the hide text box checked. <laughs> oh god, Slacks, you monster. What a clown. What a clown indeed. Uh, hey guys. <laughs> oh hey. Uh, happy to help. Luckily, we're somebody's awake. <laughs> yeah, we got this. Smoke from Vega. Look at that. Look at this bait with Sioma. They just like want to dump an ulti so bad right now. Like, nope, just a warlock, just hanging out. Nope, certainly no one else here around me. 
Oh, here we go. Infest Bomb. Pylai die. Say goodnight. That's a hell of a lot of burst damage there as the Infest Bomb comes out of the Sand King. And they will get a nice clean kill there. Secret seemed suspicious of that setup, but just a lot of a lot of range on that Sand King with the Blink Dagger. Nice catch. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Haste. Oh yeah, Swindle said he was going to cast with slacks. Stingles. Wonder if that's going to happen. Well, secret, go back to farming here. Gold graph, 1500 gold, or net worth, uh, their favor. Link Dagger mech up on Tide. Manta style coming on the way for NP. And the Deso did come out for Lifestealer. Part of why uh, that Shadow Demon died so fast. Deso damage is pretty nasty. It is pretty nasty. Why don't we just do it again with Meg? Once again, smoked up. This will be the last one. Oi, what you got there? <laughs> she still must hold one more. They're burning through all the smokes right now. Looking to get something rolling. Let's go. Give me an epicenter. Smoke on smoke action. Pile nice. I die. Nice and I from Berg. Oh, almost gets the catch. Here's Ferev. He goes in, finds a Ravage on that Iceberg. That blink from Meg, though. That was pretty close. He blinked like as the tentacles were coming. Sioma locked in the tree line. They'll find him. They sniff out the Warlock. I hear he hasn't bathed in months. 2 nil. <sighs> Secret. Tie it up for a piece. Big and kill. now they move into this tier two. Big, big kill. I mean, we're Good getting to the stage now, Trent, where Secret can just take a little fight like that, small victory, and they can punish very effectively. Luna, plus the Manta, plus Shadow Demon, like, these towers are just going to start melting. I mean, this is just the beginning. It's really weird, too, because it's a game where it's four to four kills, but it can just be over still very quickly, despite the, the lack of, like, a kill differential or something like that. Yeah, like, like they Secret could just... or one big team fight from just running away with this right now, it feels like. I don't even think they need Ravage to take this other tier two either. Maybe just because the Dire have good enough vision that it'll be okay. Uh, can they trade effectively across the map? Oh, mid one, mid one, mid one. He got him. Oh, no! oh, my oh that God. was so lucky. Iceberg, you devil. He's still going to die. Okay, so. still did. All right. But that was pretty clutch. He like blinked over the, the, the arrow that was coming out. He doesn't the... even know it, but Nag. mid one is dead. Mmm, yes. Infest bomb return kill, one for one. Tinker for Potom. Oh, that's pretty funny. Yeah, it certainly was. Certainly was. Can they trade fast enough to get back? That's the question. Probably not with Adesso. Ah, oh, well, he stopped hitting it, so maybe. I don't know, man. NP with all of his illusions. He does have the Manta delivered now. They can definitely finish off that top tower and get back to defend. Oh, no, Good Puppy. Lord. He came in by himself. It's too early. It's too early, Puppy. FN going in, dropping the right clicks for F. He does not have a Ravage, but the Rock comes down. Now Puppy getting very low. He will die. FN, though, also getting low. Sayoma trying to TP out. Song of the Siren, baby. Good saves. Uh, Again, FN, I'll just leave. FNG, good night, good night. They all TP out. Very nice. But the top tower did fall, and Radiant did defend the tier two down bottom. So even though they did lose their Ogre, they do get a, a tower exchange there in their favor. Important versus Tinker, too, because you're just... Yeah. Oh, whoa, nice. Whoa. So that's all because he didn't TP home. That Mag makes that play, right? Because like if he just TP'd home during that Naga song instead of doing this little wraparound play, mm -hmm. he, he doesn't get that kill. Very nicely done. The, uh... Yeah, the fact that you keep this, though, very nice. Um, they get a good ward down from the side of Edgar for sure, but it just means that, like, the Tinker can't go quite as far. Um, without having to worry about it. And this bag kind of, or rather, this ward from Vega kind of negates that, though, because now, despite the tower still being up, you can TP to try and respond to the Tinker to kill him, but you're never going to get the kill as long as this ward's here, because they're going to see the TP every time. Mm -hmm. um, but if the tower does go down right there, then Tinker is just always, like, pushing up to here, feeling safe, unless you're camping with a smoke or something, which is right. obviously very time-consuming. Okay. I dig. Catch on what you're throwing. Either lens up on uh, Stinky Tinky here. Pew pew. <laughs> Egg Interceptor out next, baby. Dude, honestly, this build is so obnoxious. I know, it's the worst. Like, Trying to go high ground against this? Mm. Blink Aether Lens Ags is just... It's almost too good. Like, you know, it's manageable. Eventually you kill him and then you just run high ground and it feels good, but... 
you know what's really nasty? If you have a cool. coddle too. Because you get lasered with like the prism laser and then you like manta or something to get rid of it and then you get blinded. You just like oh. can't, you can't push against it. Like you mean because of like the chakra so you get like the double cast lasers and stuff? No, you just per you use like the literal coddle blind. You just use like blast and the cooldown on it is like so short now and it lasts so like it lasts six seconds or whatever oh, when it's max. I see. And then I you just see. get lasered again. You just get like, non-stop lasered. And I thought you meant because you can laser blinded. and then like with chakra you get another laser. So you I mean that's also it. true. It's it's triple ball. It's, it's, it is na that's a nasty combo. I do like the way you're thinking. The fact that we were both on opposite sides of why it's a nasty combo, I think, speaks to its power. <laughs> but again, I suppose you could. Well, whatever. <laughs> I was gonna say, can't, can't you rearm faster still though than the uh, the coddle refresh mana? Well, yes. Come on, Andrew. Yes. Fine. Get in your tinker mindset. All right, I. Yeah, I, I played God. Tinker probably five times. No, that's a lie. I, I had a period three years ago where I, I got killed by Tinker and thought, you know what, that could be me killing people. So I, I grinded out like probably eight Tinker games and I'm like, all nice. right, I kind of got the basic hang of what to do. I don't like this hero. It's too many buttons. My hand hurts. So now I just pick Tinker very occasionally when like somebody first picks a Shadow Fiend or something. I'm like, all right, I'm ready to laser this guy to all hell. Let's do it. But I'm, I'm not much of a Tinker player, believe it or not. I know it's hard to believe. I know, it's shocking, really. Big revelation in my life. I'm probably never going to look at you the same. Yep. Uh, you know, man's worth is in his ability to go full tinker. MP, getting another big fatty stack of ancients here. He's got himself another ulti orb. Kind of curious what he has in mind there. Is this Lincoln's Gaming? Uh, and who, sorry? Uh, the Luna. Hmm. Another ulti orb after the Manta. It is a odd Scotty game. Yeah. I mean, I, but I, I guess Scotty is like kind of okay against Tinker. You know, you just have stats. You're pretty beefy. Good against the Warlock, too. Is really good. Yeah. Because BKB, obviously, you just get stunned anyway. But against all these other heroes, I kind of expect a BKB anyway. Mm -hmm. Big burst down the bottom lane. Warlock ulti used Oops. two. Leap not enough. And, and mid one. Disruption actually buys him a little bit of time. Still oh, it still goes down. Song of the Siren puts everyone to sleep. Where is this fight actually going to break out? Is everyone just in full retreat mode here? FN, Rage, TP out. He's good. That'll be it. They just lose the Priestess of the Moon. Yep, supports run to the shop. They're out. They made it. Hey, Warlock went Midas. Hold your man. Greet your CIS guys. Midas Refresher, Midas Eggs. I also don't know how I feel about this Warlock set. The helmet looks kind of silly. Radiant's Just like a... Uh, see, I think the, the, hood, games workshop thing. the hood is good because it helps hold that, hide that pizza face, like that just like disgusting, messed up nose he's got. But with the helmet, it kind of accentuates it because the nose is out front. I think that's a big problem. Is this the Warhammer set? It might be. I don't, I don't play Warhammer. I don't, I don't like painting objects. Yeah, it's a lot of effort. Not for me. Why not just play the games? It's a lot honestly. of effort for no reward, dude. The fun of D&D is the imagination and the killing fucking fake dragons, not painting the goddamn things. <laughs> but to each its own. If you enjoy That's painting, but, I mean, if you, you guys know. like Warhammer, you know, get, get if on. you like painting, then go ham. But figurines were never really my thing. Here to tower. I'm sure you have like yeah. some Sailor Moon things on a, a desk somewhere. Don't I lie did to me. watch Sailor Moon for a very short period, but then it just got <laughs> it was plotless. It's really it's, oh, it it's, was plotless. <laughs> it's pretty plotless. How shocking! They don't really describe why they have moon powers or why the tuxedo mask guy is so hunky. Weird. I don't. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend Sailor Moon. It's really not great. Overrated uh, cosplay too. If you're thinking about cosplaying Sailor Moon, move on. Do something original. It's like Crystal Maiden. You thinking about cosplaying? Just come on. You know how many CMs there are in the world? Don't be another CM. There are, there are a lot of CMs. Come on, man. Be a Tide. Be a Shadow Demon. That would be a little terrible little. cosplay. Tide Hunter? That sounds awful. Yo. Just saying. Actually, you could do a cool Tide and make it huge. A giant Warbler. That could be badass, man. Try cosplay at TI7. Go Tide. 
finally do my vengeful spirit cosplay. It would be really fun is if you got one of those big balls that people like play soccer in. You know, those big inflatable ones? Oh, yeah. And yeah. you went as Io and you just like ran into people. <laughs> that would be fun. You're just out on the grass, just like, get out of the way! <laughs> just get the air horn on your phone. <laughs> Oh god. Uh, move as well, perhaps. Ah! <laughs> there we go. Now we're thinking. Dude, look how nasty Shadow Demon Luna is, though. Like, Tinker, the ultimate in high ground defense, you can't even stop him. It, it just doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't cost them anything. Swift comes out. It is a Scotty on Luna. She's nice and beefy. She's got those thick thighs. <laughs> Your base! Where is Vega? I mean, their heroes aren't even here. Are they aware that their base is dying? They're just sacking it. Oh, backdoor came in, but now it's back. But, I mean, still. They just traded bottom lane of barracks for almost a tier 2 tower up top. This is... This is brutal. Like, is this so, like, game what, just about what to change? What changes now, though? Like, there's still creeps coming in, so there's no backdoor. Like, now you're just gonna fight at the exact same moment? Or you're just not gonna fight now? Are you gonna give up two racks? Well, like, guys, that, we gotta they were the back close to the, uh, the eggs. That's what it was. Okay, okay. That's, oh, that's still really painful. I feel like, like they could have put up more of a stand to delay that. Maybe get a kill, then he can just buy the eggs right away. Like that's a huge sacrifice. I'm not. I'm not sold on that one. This is what we waited for, Vega. <laughs> you make you make us wait all this time to give up the racks. This is one of those moments where I'm thinking, what would Merlin do? There we go. Do? MP getting low, FN getting deep out of the base though, Warlock ult comes down, follow up rockets! Oh! It's not enough. 30 HP, seriously. Song of the Siren, they'll catch only Ferev. Well, that ends up a lot better for Secret than it could have. All the big ults deployed for Vega except Epicenter. And they only lose the Tidehunter. Actually, not so bad. Nope, quite fine in fact. MP, happy he picked up that Scotty, though. Those extra stats certainly saved him there. That's uh, Aegis ex uh, expiring, too. Like, I guess that's what they were waiting for at the same time. It was like Agnims and the uh, Aegis expired like the exact same moment, but it's still really shitty. You have to give up a Rax for nothing. That's what they uh, made the call on. Ends up kind of huh. working, kind of not working. I do like Enigma. What? Sorry, they're talking about me in chat. I think they, it's, uh, they, you strike them as a uh, Wraith King player. Oh, yeah, well. Nope, actually. Believe it or not, Wraith King is not on my top. Uh, I like I like greedy fours, man. That's my That's been my thing recently. They're the most fun to play in pubs, at least. Yeah, it's and I, I get roped into playing the five a lot with my little dazzle. Little dazzle. I do have fun just buying all of the wards some games, though. I'm not going to lie. It is oddly satisfying to be like, you know what, assholes? You can't blame your deaths on Vision this game. So what's it now? What is it now? Oh, really? Really? Go fuck yourself. You know, those those, those games are satisfying. I'll take your tribute. You tell him, dude. Get dude, him. You gotta, you know? <laughs> we know that classic thing. Sometimes you have those greedy games where you're like, you're right. I could have bought wards and I didn't, but it's uh, uh. peace of mind. I mean, I don't know, man. There's only so much more we can say about the farm going on in this game. Everyone's farming real well. They've been farming real well, and I think this, they're going to uh, keep on farming real well. It's this going, Shadow going real Demon well. Luna is quite novel. I mean, it's... Never thought of this before. It works. And it's this, nasty. Uh, tinker with boots of travel that you can refresh with your ulti. Genius. Ah, hey, Lifestealer's got an Assault Karas. Okay. FNG is... 2200 gold, haha, -ha, it's happening. Hold out for Radiance Naga oh. and Warlock Eganims. Prepare your dodos. I'm uh, I'm starting to lean back in my chair now. I had to lower the mic because I'm slouching. Oh yeah, dude, I'm, I'm so getting where We're getting there. <laughs> Ninth game of the day, folks. Apologies in advance before the 10th one hits the wall. Yeah, I feel like we've done pretty well though I saved my caffeine for the end, so I'm I'm floating on coffee. Oh nice nice I think you uh, crashed from caffeine about four hours ago <laughs> Yeah, I'm okay though. I'm chill America is uh, 2 and 0 Versus uh, EU team so far get wrecked Ooh. America I saw someone, I think it was Workham was tweeting like, 
What did he say? It was funny. Pro Dota is wrecking the shit out of Infamous. It has begun? Question mark? And then... Then Infamous won the game. Lol. Nice. I still can't believe Slacks opened his stream with, like, this whole thing about the Russian team, and he didn't even look to see if any of them were <laughs> Russian. Not a single Russian player. I can't believe he's plugging BDS. That's the real question. Yeah, why? what is going on over there? Why do people <laughs> keep know. PMing why me, me is, do you have a partnership with LD? Why is Slacks promoting BTS? And I asked him and he didn't reply. What the fuck's going on? We lost S him, dude. Saboteur! God, if we lost Slacks, we'd be done. Is this like the 14-month like late-game con? It's like EVE I Online where Slacks has been like <laughs> the, like Eve the plant all along playing us <laughs> oh, with his God. dipshit ideas. Just like, oh, let me make you a movie. <laughs> Mr. Chat, oh. FN. FN. He's out. Yeah. I would be shattered, dude. I especially since I just moved to Colorado and I live near Slacks now, and he was just like, "Sorry, I'm going to going to Los Angeles." <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, dude, that would be a blow of blows. Iceberg he gets out. Nice. What a player! Any other weird items that we're expecting here? Oh, that's a hood. Soma, so my brother Midas Pipe Warlock. This this, this is the Sing creative. Sing build, isn't it? Is this what he was doing? Oh, this is the Sing Sing build. He went pipe. This was the one that I misread for the 19 minute agonies, which was the 19 minute Midas. <laughs> yes, I recall. Oh, Sing Sing. Invisibility. Mm mm mm. The mid one has an ethereal blade. Prepare to be popped, potty poppers. Hello, Iceberg. Good oh, to see you there. FNG so close. almost saved him. What? Why? Why? Why are you going? They're What's going happening? in. Why Rev. do you set epicenter up if you're gonna fight? What? Puppy. This is strange. They're holding Ravage. They're holding Eclipse. This could still be good for Secret. Damn good, in fact. Uh, he's just trying to reach. Out. Oh, they lost. Sayoma dies. What? Why did they fight that? Did they not have TPs on some of their heroes? Dude, that was, that was some fights. sort of a miscommunication. That was really bad. Uh, well, he just so got tilting. cleaned up. Like, your Tinker dies. You get Song off. Like, leave, dude. Get out. Everyone had TPs. And like, they don't it, even it's because they had Epi? the FS bomb ready to go. That was a, a miscommunication. I think they were good to go as long as they channeled the Epi. The question is, why didn't he channel the Epi? What are you saving oh, it for? That's it. Here's the Ravage. Tinker goes down. He's done, though. He's out of the game for 60 seconds. Now Mag getting low. Ding, ding again. He's out of the game, too. This thing's getting ripped apart in secret. It's a GG. 10 to 9 in 33 minutes. <laughs> they spent job. most of the game farming. But Secret <laughs> came online with the MP Luna. The interesting Scotty build. I only got one prediction correct, but got goddamn, two. goddamn. I got Tinker. That was the only one. I got the first one. Total number of deaths. I said zero to five, and it was five. It was close, though. Mid one had the most D wards? Yeah, that's a joke. What? Sucks. So it's it's person who kills the ward, not 